YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Well, I hope you all had a blessed week. Hey, this is going to be about the last time we mention the old channel because it's, it's done, it's done. So we're moving on. But listen, uh, the channel did get shut down. The, the people that were putting up those Fox News videos got copyright strikes. That lasted about a week and then YouTube shut it down. So uh, anyway, you know, I had like 1,300 videos on that channel. And lo and behold, I still have every one of them. Uh, I've always kept these uh, Seagate hard drives and I've got probably three of them and I have every video that I ever recorded. So uh, anyway, being how that channel got shut down, I was able to go in there and re-grab that name. And uh, I started a backup channel with the name Pastor Bob NCC. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start uploading all my older videos, the ones that I think are really, really good, and I'm going to put them on that channel. But uh, I'll always have a backup channel now, and the backup channel will be linked below in all the videos. So uh, go subscribe to that so if anything like that ever happens again, you won't lose me. So listen, uh, this week I was reading the book of Acts. And you know, every time you go through the book of Acts, there's just a couple places that you have to stop. And one of them, of course, is Acts 17, 22 to 23. And this is what it says. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, You men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Just way too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God. Whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him I declare unto you. This is what that means, that term, too superstitious. It means they have a belief or a practice that totally results from ignorance. You know what that means? That means they made it up. It means fear of the unknown to trust in magic or chance, a complete false conception. Too superstitious sounds exactly like America today. These people were absolutely politically correct. Politically correct. They had a fear of offending anyone. They were completely afraid of offending any god that they may have missed. So they made this one devotion to the unknown God, saying, well, if we missed anybody, we're covered. They didn't want to offend anyone. Totally politically correct. No one wanted to take a stand for anything. Nobody. They were sitting on the fence. Didn't want to take a stand. America today is a land of idols. Just like them. We, they had their Mars Hill we have idols throughout this country. We have sports figures, movie stars, rock stars, and all these people, not all of them, but the most, the better part of all these people are vile people. They're vile. They're sexual deviates, perverts. But yet every time they speak, they speak one word, the news media is all over it, they publish it, and everybody hangs on every word that these sexual perverts put out. Because they're idols, they're who they worship. They want to be just like them. Also in America, people worship themselves. You know, it's really strange, you can go on somebody's Facebook page, and whenever I... Uh, get a friend's request from anybody, I'll, I'll always go on there and take a look at their pictures. Because you can look at somebody's pictures and you know exactly what they're all about. And I go on people's pictures and they'll have 200 pictures and every single one of them will be a selfie of themselves. They don't have their husband, they don't have their kids, they don't have places they're going. Selfies. Self worship, narcissism. America is full of it. America today is also a land full of hate. A complete land full of hate. We're full of fear, we're full of confusion. People today cannot disagree. 
it is almost illegal to disagree with anybody. You disagree with the left. If you disagree with anything on the left, whether it be abortion, pick the topic. You disagree with anybody on the left, and you all, all of a sudden you're an enemy of the state. That's what you are. You are an enemy of the state. I mean, uh, we've had people, we've had congressmen that have said, if you're in a restaurant and you see anybody with a Make America Great hat again, go over there and start screaming at them. I mean, you cannot disagree with the left. You become an enemy of the state. People, listen. Right now, we're, we're at the tip. We're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. Pretty soon, anybody that disagrees with the left, you're going to be imprisoned and you're going to be exterminated. That's where we're coming. The left hates Christians. They hate us. And the reason they hate us is because we know the truth. Therefore, they cannot control us. They cannot control us, so they fear us. We're the ones that are not going to fall for their lies. We're the ones that are not on the fence. We're the ones that will take a stand, and we will call them out for exactly who they are, because we know the truth. People, listen. America today is a lot like Athens was back then. They had all this great Mars Hill with all these devotions to all these gods. America is the same way. You cannot tell people in America there's only one God, and that God has a son. There's only one way to heaven, and that's through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you proclaim that, you are an enemy of the state. People, one of these days, they're going to ask you that question. You hang around long enough, you'll be asked, do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? And if you say yes, you will go off to a FEMA camp, whatever. It's time to get off the fence. Time to take a stand. Because you know what? Hell is full, full of politically correct humans. Full. <laughs> you know what? I don't think there's one politically correct person in heaven. No. People in heaven are not politically correct. They take a stand for God. They tell people who God is and what He expects of us. Anyway, listen. Mars Hill to the unknown God. That God's name is Jesus Christ. You put your faith and trust in Him, you will live on into eternity. If you don't, you won't. Choice is yours. You choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal. YouTube. YouTubers, Pastor Bob NCC. Hey, uh, wait a minute. I'm not Pastor Bob out.